Chapter 2 Introduction to HTML Hi friends, how are you? I think you are very much interested in studying this chapter. Does anyone use internet? Okay, fine. We will discuss more about how to create a web page. In this chapter, our objectives are familiarizing with HTML, working with HTML tag and introduction to web designing. Nowadays, internet is widely used for information and communication. The information and services on internet are delivered through websites like text, graphics, videos, audios, etc. Website is simply interconnected web pages. These web pages are designed using special programming languages called markup languages, which are widely used today. Hypertext markup language, HTML, is very common today. Hypertext markup language, HTML. Creating an HTML document is easy. To begin coding using HTML, you need only two things. A simple text editor such as Notepad, Wordpad, etc. Notepad is the most basic of simple text editors. HTML was introduced by a British computer scientist named Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. HTML is a simple scripting language to create a web page. The advanced version of HTML is HTML5. HTML document can be viewed on Internet Explorer and other browsers. Advantages of HTML it is easy to use and understand. It is supported on almost all browsers. It is highly flexible and can be modified easily. Effective presentations can be made with all formatting effects. HTML document can be displayed on any platform such as Windows, Linux, etc. It is widely used and established on almost every website. What is HTML tag, element and attribute? HTML tag are the hidden keywords within a web page that defines how the browser must format and display the content. Most tags have two parts, an opening and a closing part. For example, HTML is the opening tag and closed HTML is the closing tag. It always begins with a less than sign and ends with a greater than sign. HTML elements It represents the root of a HTML document. The contents typed along with the start tag and the end tag are called HTML elements. Example Body Welcome to web designing Closed body HTML attributes. It is a modifier of an HTML element type. An attribute either modifies the default functionality of an element type or provides functionality to certain element types that are unable to function correctly without them. In HTML syntax, an attribute is added to an HTML start tag. Attribute appears as an attribute name followed by an equal to sign and then its value. For example, font color is equal to green. Here, font is an HTML tag. Color is the attribute name. Green is the attribute value. Starting with HTML, open a notepad window and type the content as shown below. Save the file as myhtml.htm. Remember that the file extension should be .htm or .html. HTML Head Title Welcome message Closed title Closed head Body Welcome to my first web page. Closed body Closed HTML to run this web page in Internet Explorer, start Internet Explorer and then open the file My HTML document. Now, your first web page is created. The web page will be displayed as shown in the screen.
the structure of the html document the html document contains certain tags to inform the browser that the document is an html document the html tags are divided into two parts the head element and the body element the head element starts with head tag and ends with closed head tag this element contains information about the document the tag title closed title can appear only in this section the body section is used to display text images hyperlinks etc on the web page to create a web page you need four primary tags html tag head tag title tag and body tag all these tags are container tags one html closed html every html document begins and ends with html tag this tells the browser that the following document is an html file second head closed head the head tag contains the title of the document along with general information about the document 3 title closed title title appears within the title tag and displays the title of the page this title appears on the title bar 4 body closed body the body element usually comes after the head tag and contains everything that will be shown up in the browser window the main content of your page is placed within the body tags friends do you want to design your web page more attractively by using body tag attributes some attributes used in body tags are background it is used to design background of the document with pictures syntax body background is equal to path bg color it is used to set the background color for the document syntax body bg color is equal to color text it is used to color the text of the document syntax body text is equal to color headline tags h1 to h6 headline tags are used to display headlines on the web page in various size html document supports six levels of headline tags h1 to h6 the size of the text within the h1 tag is the largest and h6 is the smallest each of these headlines always begins on a new line center tag center center tag is used to align text to center by default the text is aligned to the left side of the page you can align the text to center of the page using the center tag font style tag b i u font style tag can change the appearance of the text it is also known as physical markup it contains three tags they are bold b italic i and underline u you can make a text into bold italic and underline by using b i and u tags respectively